How to build a wind turbine when the world has ended and you're stuck somewhere near what used to be Jamnagar. And more importantly, why would you even try? Maybe your scavenged radio is dying, maybe the last tin of Thapla is getting cold, or maybe you just want a light that isn't a burning tire. The good news? You can't burn this one down. The bad news? You still have to build it. Time to get some free power. First, you'll need to find a motor. Any old electric motor will do. An electric drill, a busted ceiling fan from a collapsed shop, maybe even the power window motor from one of those ambassador cars that haven't moved in a decade. It's got the coils and maggots we need. The magic is, it can run in reverse to generate electricity. Just don't get your fingers in there unless you like extra holes. Next, find some blades, old satellite dishes from the rooftops, cut up PVC pipes from a busted irrigation system, or those flimsy metal signs that used to say Reliance Petrochemicals Safety First. Cut them into rough propeller shapes. Precision is a joke out here. Just get them to spin. If they look like a child's art project, you're doing it right. Now mount the whole cursed thing to the motor shaft. A little duct tape, some scavenged wire, and a prayer to whatever god is still listening will do. Then hoist the whole mess onto the highest point you can find. Maybe a half-standing water tower, or the frame of a broken billboard. Don't fall. Jumnagar has enough problems without you adding to them. So why does this rickety junk pile work? Simple physics, even in a world where everything else is complicated. As the wind, probably carrying a lot of dust from the ran of Kutch, pushes the blades, they spin the motor. The spinning magnets inside the motor create a magnetic field that moves electrons in the surrounding copper coils. That movement is a current, a sweet little jolt of electricity. You've just converted kinetic energy into electrical energy. No dead batteries, no glowing rain, just the wind doing the heavy lifting. The radio crackles to life, playing a barely audible tune you haven't heard in years. And in the silent wasteland, a single weak bulb flickers on, chasing away a bit of the gloom. Congrats, you've got power. Now let's see if you can find something useful to use it on, besides trying to tune into the ghosts of All India Radio.